there was a, a, a decline in at least 17 conflicts af in Africa after 2000. And this then opened up um, some opportunities for women. <clears throat> the disruptions during the major civil wars um, necessitated changes in the political order and it allowed for newcomers to come into politics and women were among those. Um, so you had changes in the political elite that allowed for, the, for women to come in. You also had uh, in the aftermath of conflict, you had peace talks, you had um, new constitutions that were written, new electoral reform processes, and all of these allowed for um, changes that improved women's representation. Um, <clears throat> and then you also had um, the fact that women uh, found common cause across party lines, across differences uh, during conflict. But women were, it was not just some kind of innate desire among women to uh, for peace, but they <clears throat> had common concerns around violence against women, the need for decision, women in decision making, um, the loss of land during conflict. So all of these kind of concerns gave women um, added impetus to push for change.